five miles, and I've been out pulling weeds in the garden like this. I pulled some weeds up, and there was a snake. If I had grabbed three inches farther, I'd have had that snake around there. But you're a snake oil farmer, Mike. Yeah, you're the wrong dog. Yeah. Career choice. Uh -huh. <laughs> so anyway, let's just pay attention. And uh, save some of these historic places and protect them. And the only reason this is protected is because of those families and because of the population. And people like you that come out here and you go, wow, this is really special. How can I help? And that's, that's where we get. We don't have a big uh, just bag of cash to sit on. We're just a bunch of old people working hard to and try to make ends meet. And then
I go to the trouble of buying those books wholesale and run around and channel them, I can make $8 a book. I don't have time to do that. So I would rather write 10 more books. <laughs> so I'm thinking before we walk on, I just wanted to get everyone in a circle. We have three things to share. One, this would be a good one. start out that way. It started out trying to learn the names. People would say, what's that? And I go, if I don't tell them what that is, I'm going to be a failure. <laughs> and then I began to realize after a while that the names aren't that important. We already had a discussion here about the names and things. And so we didn't agree just yet, but we will before the end of the day. <laughs> and I've had this happen before. I picked up a rock and I said, this, this is uh, andesite here and I will find a piece of rhyolite for you. And the guy says, no, that's rhyolite. And I didn't know what to say. But lucky for me, one of my hikers was a um, scientist, a professor, and he walked up behind that other guy and he said, well, I have to kind of like be the referee here because what he said is true because we've done this research and we know this, 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 and this. And so that was the end of the discussion. And then there was another time when I was talking with somebody else that had a deep connection with the Native American culture. 
and we were talking about acorns and so forth, and I said the, um, uh, the black oak was a favorite acorn of most the natives. And he said, no, it wasn't. It was the, uh, I'm going to make up the name, the valley oak. It's not a made up name. And I said, well, I got my information from da 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 And he said, well, I got my information from da 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 things I learned when I talked with the different native people is the tribes don't all have the same perspective of this landscape and they agree to disagree. And so there's a lesson for us there as well. Let's get moving folks. So we're gonna walk on from here. So let's do this. Let's maybe we can just take a moment of silence. I know it's very nice. We're very euphoric moments here. Maybe just take a moment and then we'll up to the next place and we're going to walk past the native grasses so maybe I'll stop but it's going to go way over there at the base of that so it's about a quarter mile of silence 